We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. The name above all names, the name that we trust in. We are delivered, we are healed, we are set free, and He sees us through. Our God loves us and He is with us. It is such a good feeling and such reassurance to know that we have a Heavenly Father who cares for us and He makes a way for us. He cares for you, my dear friend, and He will see you through. As you know, today is Monday, and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you, and I know it will bless you. I want to encourage you even as we begin. In this season, hold on to God. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't allow the lies of the enemy to come in. God will see you through. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit, wherever you are in your own words. Welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come and take over control and help us to pray, help us to press in. Help us to receive from the Father even today and take us closer to Jesus. Speak to us and convict us in the way that we must go. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that I received to share with you. Anything is possible, even at the last minute. Nothing is impossible for God. I'll repeat that. Nothing is impossible for our God. He will come through just in time. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Just in time, God will make a way. I prophesy victory and breakthrough in the name of Jesus. You will make it in Jesus' name. As I received this word, the Lord led me to three scriptures that I want to share with you. The first one is from the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, from verse 8 to verse 9. It says, But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. As I read this, my dear friend, I want to tell you, the Lord is never too early, He is never too late. He comes in just in time. He brings the answer just in time. He answers our prayer and He makes a way for us just in time. He is always in His season and in His time. And God's timing is perfect. And I tell you that even if it is the last day that you have and you are trusting God for breakthrough, God is able to come through for you and God is able to make a way. God is able to give you the victory. The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 6 from verse 9, it says, And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Other translations say we shall reap if we do not give up. My dear friend, One of the pitfalls and one of the traps that have robbed many people of their blessing is they give up too early. And even if you just had a short time left as you are trusting God for that breakthrough, I encourage you do not give up. Because even giving up in that short time is too early. It says, let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season, we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Don't grow tired of following God. Don't grow tired of following His ways. Simply trust Him and keep on going. And you will see how as you put your hope and your trust in God, 
He will give you the victory. Sometimes the victory doesn't manifest in the way that we expect it to manifest. But nevertheless, God will make the appropriate way that He sees right in His eyes come to pass. God will bring an answer and victory. The Bible makes it clear that those who trust in God shall never be disappointed. I encourage you trust in Him even in this season and He will make a way where there seems to be no way. The last but not the least scripture that I want to share with you today is from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 31. It says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I'll read that once again. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait on God and He will give you strength. Wait on God. Be strong and take heart and wait on the Lord. He shall make a way for you where there seems to be no way. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. It says finally. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. For he shall surely deliver you. He shall see you through. He shall make a way where there seems to be no way. Victory belongs to Jesus. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I encourage you even right now. Begin to praise him in your own words. Father, we praise you and we lift up your name. For you are our God. You speak and you live. And you make a way where there seems to be no way. You make a way in the wilderness. And you deliver us. You see us through. You are the God who speaks and you live. You are Emmanuel. God with us. And we put our trust and our hope in you. Even today. Even this week. Even this season. Even this time period. Knowing that even if all odds in this natural realm are stacked against us, as long as you are on our side, we shall make it, we shall come out shining, we shall be victorious, we shall come out with victory in the name of Jesus, and it shall be well with us, because you are with us, and you make a way. Thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who made a way for us where there seemed to be no way, suffered death on the cross and was buried and on the third day he rose again and what he accomplished no man could accomplish it needed God to come in the flesh and make a way be glorified and be magnified in our lives and be lifted high even today in the name of Jesus Amen and Amen my dear friend as we begin I encourage you comment and agree and connect in faith. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even in this season, let faith arise in my dear friend's heart that my dear friend may be able to believe you for the impossible, to believe you for miracles, signs and wonders, knowing that nothing is impossible for you. Come through for my dear friend just in time and remove all worry, remove all anxiety, remove all fear and bring peace and courage that my dear friend will stand strong and trust in you. For your word says those who trust in you shall never be disappointed and we trust in you, we choose to have faith in you. Give my dear friend victory and breakthrough in this season. I ask this in Jesus' name. I prophesy of you, my dear friend. You shall make it in the name of Jesus. You shall go far in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Why? Because you have chosen to put your trust in God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. 
Therefore, it shall be well with you, because those who put their trust in God shall never be disappointed. God bless you. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.